Hi guys, welcome to the guys. Today we're going through South End United. Um, I don't know what to call this. Uh, I'll probably think of a title. Um, but it's basically just a rundown. You know, we're going to split it into a few parts here. So you've got to look at Ron Martin. It's, it's a big part. We, we're just going to look at the downfall of South End, where it's all gone wrong. Because uh, I think looking at, I'll give my opinion as well. But looking at it, we're down, aren't we? Um, I can't see us being safe anymore. We're going to look at. Uh, a few a few different things in this video. So yeah, um, I guess we should get straight into it. Starting off with Ron Martin. So starting off with Ron Martin, um, I think he is a big reason on why we why why this club has been ran to the ground. Realistically, I think from what the fans have said as well, it's really starting to turn into that. I mean, it is the. He is the main source of what what's happened, what has screwed this club over. Um, so of course it was a naive. He, he sees this as a business. Um, he sees it as a business and not as a football club. You know, he's instead of saying, "Oh," instead of buying players like. League One, when we just about missed out on the playoffs, he sold Daniel Bentley and Ryan Lend and didn't buy a player back for them, costing us our league position massively in League One, where we were an established, solid League One club. If we kept both of them, we probably would have went up to the Championship, but no. He decided we're not going to do that, we're going to go sell them and we've got to fortify a new team now, which really did cost us. He's not a good chairman for us. He, um, He's putting everything in his name so the club doesn't get any money. It's all his own money. Um, it's safe to say the chairman needs to go. He's he's a naive businessman. Um, he has to go. He's, I think if you look at all of the fans, everyone wants him to go. Uh, we want that Dutch person. He's got quite a lot of money, to be fair. But yeah, we need we need a takeover for the manager, chairman. Sorry, the chairman's not good enough. Um, so yeah, now let's have a look at what... Um, like the, the, what I have to say on all of this, I've got like a paragraph. I sent it to someone about it, so yeah, we'll just get straight to that now. Okay, so yeah, let's just get straight into. It. Personally, I think something has got to happen at the club. I think it's not good, we, but we do still have to stick by this team. You know, we're not going to get anywhere if we don't stick by the team, which we're not doing at the moment. We're just having a go at everyone. We've got to stick by the team, stick by the manager, even if we do think they're the wrong choices, like I do. Um, we got to stick by them, and something has got to happen. Hopefully, um, Ron is go. Ron leaving is going to be one of them, or selling up, um, which would be good. But you know, I think it's inevitable that we're down now. I think that us and Grimsby are down, if we, and there's no, nothing which can change that, in my opinion. Um, we don't have a goal scorer, which is a big issue. You know, it's cost us a lot this season not having someone who can just finish their chances. We would probably be in the table side if we had someone like that. Instead, we go for these unfit players, Melis, Ranger. You know, Oli Inka going as well cost us um, not going, like, uh, being injured. Hopefully, he should be back though on Tuesday. I think Ron said he uh, not Ron. Mosey said he'll be back. Um, we could have been out of this mess a long time ago, couldn't we? If Ron, you know, Ron, he clearly had the money, didn't he? We could have been out a long time ago if he just paid off the embargo straight away, like most normal chairmans would do. Um, but instead, he left us up until December with a really weak squad. A few loanies uh, were playing, were forced into playing youth team players, and yeah, sadly, it did cost us massively. Our league position looked down and out then, and we had a. December, which was basically just covering a few cracks up, leaving still an enormous crack, which just left us completely open. Teams were always going to. It was inevitable that we were going to have a bad. Uh, we weren't going to win. We weren't going to get out of this situation. Sorry, his appointment of Mark Mosley was a terrible one as well. He um, he has he had no experience in the upper leagues before joining us, which is very bad. You know, his the experience was the Vanarama South, I think it was, or Vanarama North. Um, which isn't what you want. You want a manager who's established in League One, a manager who's established in League Two. You know, um, who'll be able to help. And yeah, his tactics in January and a bit of February were poor. They're horrendous. Going to the free back, which was a terrible idea. Signing t signing players like Tyler Cordner, which was clearly a him signing because he's from Bournemouth, um, who doesn't even play. It's a waste of money. Which we could have got on a striker, a youth striker. 
hopefully could have been scoring for us. Um, you know, Ron doesn't see us as a football club, does he? I've said this already. He sees us as a business. Um, he put all the names uh, into the houses um, just to earn money uh, under his name. It's heartbreaking, really, from so close to the playoffs now stuck in the route, the bottom of League Two with Colchester United as well, which I'll get on to later. Um, if we were to go down, you know, it would affect so many people. I think we are down now, but I think people were expecting it at the start of this season. I was hopeful, saying we would place mid table, but the embargo not being paid off, everyone knew we were going down. To be honest, and you know, overall, I think Ron Martin has to go. I think Mark Mosley does as well. I mean, look at Barrow; they sack their manager and straight away they're out of relegation battle. Um, we need to sack Mosley. Hopefully, it will be in a few weeks. In, in not even a week. Hopefully we, we get who who we no I don't want us I want us to beat Walsall to be fair so hopefully not um you know it's it's going to be a tough we yeah so it's going to be a tough few weeks now so now let's go on to the fan opinions which is some of these are actually very interesting let's get straight into them so we're back with fan opinions now of course we, well let's get straight into it really all, all of these are fan opinions starting off with. Um, Southend FC, make sure you go follow him, Southend.fc, I'll link him down in the description below, I'll link uh, a few other Southend accounts below as well, I think it's um, Soz underscore save our Southend, I think it is, go follow him, um, go follow, yeah, I'll just link him down below, just go check him out really, um, so yeah, he said, uh, Southend FC, we said, Ron Martin has been focusing too much on the new state. I'll move this here, Ron Martin has been focusing too much on the new stadium, relying on it all to get accepted and having a big income from that, but his plans have just gone all wrong and we've hit a point now where he, where we can't, where he can't run his football club if he stays in charge. The only place his club is running into, the the only place this club is running is into the ground. Ron Martin focuses uh, too far into the future instead of the present, and it's not good enough. It's his fault that we're on the brink of relegation from the football league. Used to be appearing in court every month because he's not paying the bills, and that just goes to show he's not fit to run a football and football club and doesn't have the money to. If we if we go down, he will lose. We will lose our identity, and most of our squads won't play for us because they want more. They want money, which is what football is now about. The past four years is what. Uh, the past four years, he's just ruined this football club, which is true. Uh, he he will uh, like a clown got us into. Okay, so, sorry, guys, my camera cut off. So he said. Um, into a transfer embargo for nearly a year. I think it is where we was playing under 18s week in, week out, and that's where we are, where we are now. Hashtag Ron Martin now. From the looks of things, everyone wants Ron Martin now. The, the embargo was ridiculous, as I've stated already, you know. We've got to sort this out. Let's get into the next one. Barrow, after just after 40 years out, know how important it is to remain in the league club. They have used that fear and dread to light their fire. Mark Mosley's kept saying we will be fine. We've been unlucky. Humans are at best when they have fear, not being told it will be all right. Which is completely true, you know. We should be fearing non-league. It's something which you don't want to get yourselves into. You know, this club's been, this club is known for never being a non-league club. They've always stayed in the football league for 114 years. Um, it's gone now. So I reckon it has gone. To be honest, now it's getting to the next one. Resigned to relegation, when Martin seems to be the one man determined to ruin our football club and has single-handedly lost the faith and the trust of the supporters and didn't back Mark Mosley soon. And Ron Martin has to go as a result of taking us out of the Football League, which is completely true right? at the end of the day. He's, it, Ron Martin has got to go. He has to sell. Um, I think all fans are expecting us gone uh, out of the Football League now, which is very sad um, that all the fans have lost hope. It, it just shows just how bad this club has been ran into the ground. Um, Next one, same old really, and this is about the Scunthorpe game, sorry. Same old really, another game we should have won with Oldham and today, that's another four points. Southland and Stevenage, another four points there. You could go level with Colchester, could go on points, go go on with the points dropped. Hopefully the players can go again, or that might be it after today. Um, I think it's after, I think that is it. I think that is our league status gone. Um, which is really sad, isn't it? Uh, two more hit, um, this is like just a longer paragraph than most of them. I'm more than disappointed, I'm angry. Angry that our club has come to this. Angry that our chairman has run our club into the ground. Angry that the rest of the board have not stood up and challenged the chairman or at least gone public with their criticism. That is very true. You know, the, the board should be standing up to the chairman. They should be saying, you know, this isn't good enough. Um, next is angry that the manager is treating the fans like fools by continuing putting out statements that he does. Uh, angry that nobody other than the fans appear to care about the demise of the club and that 
and are only apparently interested in keeping whatever perks they get from the club. Which is true, they're all just money grabbing. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the next thing says that, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then the last one is, I've tried to believe we can achieve the impossible, but today shows more than ever that this squad is not good enough to keep us up. It's like a car crash, but I have to watch it every single match. Um, it really is gone, isn't it? It's so, it's just, it's dreadful, you know. The fans have no hope. I don't think um, anyone has hope anymore at the end of the day. Um, I, yeah, I think that's it, really. Um, now, let's have a quick look at the teams we have to play and where we are in the league, you know, etc., etc. Let's get straight into it. So let's get straight into team. Have a look at all the teams we're playing. I'll tell you how you know how many I think we can win here. Um, yeah, I, I reckon I'll give my solid predictions now. Um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Walsall. Um, there'll be a match preview out literally tomorrow on that. So Walsall, I reckon that can be a win. Let me just quickly get a tally of how many are winnable. How many? You know, I, I doubt we win. So winnable, you know, you got Walsall. That's one already. You know, I think that's a winnable game, um, which still won't put us near Colchester. Harrogate, I think uh, it's, it, we're going to lose it, but I'm going to put a winnable game. Um, Carlisle, that's another winnable game on the form they're in. Morecambe, that's a loss. Um, Crawley is a winnable game as well. Again, Exeter is probably a loss. Colchester is another winnable game. Lake Norian is a winnable game. Um, Barrow is a winnable game and Newport is, yeah. So we've got three games which I don't expect us to win. The rest are seven games where I think we can win. Let's just say we win three out of those seven, which are winnable, um, and draw two. That puts us in 11 points, which means, you know, we're seven points behind Colchester, so we need two wins and a draw just to catch up to them. Of course, their goal difference is better than ours as well. So, you know, looking at that, that's not good for us. And then if you look at, uh, I think, bear in mind, I don't, I can't see us winning any of these matches. You know, we've got, there's got to be something which happens to the team now um, to somehow help us win these matches. But now to Colchester, you know, Tramier, that's probably going to be a loss. Bradford, probably a loss. Uh, Bolton, probably a loss. Barrow's winnable. Oldham is winnable. Walsall is winnable. We are winnable. Cheltenham is probably a loss. Salford is probably lost. And Tramier, again, is probably a loss. So that's, Four winnable games for Colchester. Um, we've got seven. We should be. We we should be. We should be winning. Um, I mean, Colchester haven't won in the last five, and they're in a relegation battle. Like, th this is what we're talking here. Um, Port Vale. Um, they got torn apart. Well, no, they didn't even get torn apart that much, you know. And Port Vale was struggling with it with us at the bottom, you know. It's not good. Um, Walsall, you know, if you look at the teams we've got, you've got Barrow who are 21st, Walsall who are 20th, you know, they're two teams we should be beating. Lane Orient who are 14th, that's a rivalry, well, not a big rivalry, but it's a rivalry Yes, You've got Colchester who are 22nd, you've got Harrogate who are 13th, you know. We've got a lot of mid-table clubs, um, and then a few clubs that said we can't beat are Morecambe, Newport and Exeter, which are 8th, 7th, 6th. So they're, they're, they're solidified in the top uh, spots, so yeah. At the end of the day, you know, it's going to be a grind. You've got to stick with the team until the fight's over, which I think the fight probably is over now, thinking about it. But, you know, we, we've got to stick with the team. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share around, share around to your friends. Comment below your opinions on the match. Uh, not, not on the match, sorry. Your opinions on just the, the club, really. Just everything about the club. And, yeah, make sure you go check the link in the description. Links in the description, and there'll be just uh, the accounts who, you know, just will probably help you a lot out with what's happened to this club and just give you more fan opinions. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Peace. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. So he said, uh, got us into a transfer embargo for for nearly a year. I think the, the, it is where we was playing under 18s in week out and that's why we're here where we are. Hashtag Ron and out, which is completely true. Now let's get into the other um, people who said things on this, starting it off with uh, here. Barrow, after 40 years out of football league, which is a long time out, we could be facing that. You never know. We could be in non league for 48 years, longer or less. You never know nowadays. Um, Barrow know how important it is to remain a league club. They have used that fear and dread to light their fire. Mark Mosley has kept on saying that we'll be fine. 
we've been unlucky. Humans react their best when they have when they have fear, not being told it will be all right. Which complete true. We need to be. We should, as as Ricky Harms I think was said, we should fear non-league. Non-league is this thing where you you all lose your job. You, it's not something you want to be in. It's not something you want to be a part of. Now the next one is resigned to relegation. Ron Martin seems to be the one man determined to ruin our football club and has single-handedly lost the faith and the trust of the supporters and didn't back Mark Mosley sooner and Ron Martin has to go as a result of taking us out of the Football League. I do agree with mostly with that, but I don't think, um, even if he backed Mark Mosley, I, don't, I think we'd still be in this mess. Uh, well, no, I don't think we would. I think we'd just be outside, but I still don't think Mark Mosley is the man for the job, no matter what. Um, he's not a good manager. He's not a good manager. One bit. Next um, is same old really. Another game we should have won. This is about scumfuck game. Sorry. Um, same old really. Another game we should have won with Oldham and today. That's four points. South and Stephen is another four points there. You could go level with Colchester. Could go on with the points dropped. Hopefully the plays can go again. 